Hey everybody, this is Cyber Tiger, and today we are going to be playing Until Dawn Part 2. Um, I usually upload different things every day, and you know, I usually don't upload them in a row, but I don't know, I kind of felt like the last episode was just a tutorial, so I really wanted to get at least one more up this week. So let's, uh, so let's go ahead and just get started. We stopped right where we left off. So I read everybody's comments, and everybody told me to go with the faster options instead of the slower options. They said there's more quick time events, but I really suck at quick time events, but well, um, I'll take your advice and we'll see. We'll start doing some fast ones and we'll see how it goes. Wow, what? Alright, the gate's busted, climb over Chris. <sighs> oh, that's horrible. From Chris on December 28, 2014 at 10 to Josh Washington. How do I get there again? Okay. Well, I don't think I can go to the right. There's this blatant open wall here, so I'll probably have to climb over here. Alright, so everybody said to go with the fast ones. Let's go with the quick one. Wow, those are really fast. Now, let's just climb. Let's not jump. Way slower. Much easier. I got up there pretty quick. But I could tell the, the difference in the timer, though, because I chose the more riskier one. The timer was way faster. Alright, so that thing's still watching here. Can't do anything around here. Can I open the gate? That'd, that'd be really nice. I like how everyone's just fine with being locked in here. Nobody's nobody's concerned about it. I mean, it doesn't look it doesn't look scary at all. Aww. Don't move Say icon on that. the screen. Why? Okay, so don't move. Huh? <laughs> okay. I guess it's still kind of the tutorial. Pressing R1. The game looks fantastic, though. Alright, let's see here. Nope. Butterfly property. Right, it explains the totems. Black is death. We, we already went over this. White's uh, good fortune. Wonderful, there's one. Just sits here for a long time. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. Alright, let's grab this, turn this around. So this is a guidance totem. So they showed a bird and they showed it looked like uh I don't know, Mike or Chris, I forgot his name. So I have to do something there that's important. Is there anything around here? I don't see anything. The past is beyond our control. Oh yeah, I wanted to do this really fast, I forgot about this. Um, settings, audio settings, sorry, uh, the music was super loud during the cutscenes, hopefully that'll help out. The sound effects were f kinda loud. Okay. Alright, sorry about that. It was really hard to cut it up the other day because you couldn't really hear. Alright, let's try. Chris? You here? Okay, the door's locked. I see a book bag. Bag's here, where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? I don't think so. None of our business. Maybe I shouldn't pull around crazy stuff. I don't think it's any Chris? of our business. Sam, oh, there it is. Hey, you made it. Okay, so he was Chris. I guess the other guy was Mike. 
I don't know. The other guy with who, who tricked the girl in the beginning. See, he's methodical, protective, and humorous. All the traits of a serial killer. Our oh, overbearing so boyfriend. I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. I'm glad she knows him because it almost seems like he's taking her behind the boathouse to kill her. And it's not, I know this isn't a boathouse, that was a, that was a song. Whatever. Mm, wanted. Milgram. Oh, so Vector Milgram, yeah, mail 62, last known address. We'll get a visit from the back here. Water. Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Okay, he was last seen in 1998, wanted in connection to first degree arson offense as well as various threats. Okay. That's been up there for quite a long time, I'm surprised it's still posted. Is there anything around here? Anything around here? Ta da! Pretty rad, right? What are we talking about? Come on, look at these beauties. What? Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing? I don't think you're telling me it's a shooting range. Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams. Grizzly or Adams. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Get it, Grizzly. Uh, All right. Not a lot of ghosts. All right. Okay, there's stuff hanging to shoot. Move over and press R2. There's a timer. It's very slow right now. Probably because it's a tutorial. It's pretty far close. away. Oh, there's a squirrel that I fed. I bet that's the same squirrel. Do I get an option to shoot it? I'm not going to. Squirrels are adorable. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. God, he is so lame. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Alright, well, I did get to explore over here. Is there anything over here? That I can grab? Anything? Anything gonna light up? Mm, I guess not. Okay. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Hey, yeah, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the hobos. station. Hobos. Mountain hobos. You gotta watch out for the mountain hobos. They live up here all by themselves in caves and stuff like hermits, but they're mountain hobos. They go into any room. For you. Oh, real gentlemen. They can almost be brother and sister the way they act. I mean, I know they're not, but... The way they portrayed them so far in the story, like that's kind of the way me and my sister act, well, except not not with so much bantering. Whatever. Ooh, an X. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family bought a mountain. Family bought a mountain. It's pretty rich. Blackwood Pine, a hotel, and sanatorium. Sanitarium, sanatorium. I don't know. Somebody will correct me probably. For a healthy body and mind. Closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the mm, shooting range. This? How long is this? Look like a tub. It's is that a bath? Mountain. Oh, it changed. Yeah. So beautiful today, but it might just Somebody's be spying on somebody in the bathroom, are we? That's gross. You gonna publish? What? You're a pretty poem. The 
sleeping giant of Blackwood Ford. I mean, if it's a security guard or whatever, but it's like, this is like a family-owned place, so it's like, is that guy peeping on his own family? Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but... Okay. Is there anything over here? You have to check everything. Is there anything over here? Anything? No? Okay. Alright, okay, we gotta check everything. This is gonna be one of those games. Just like going to the prom. Here we go! Right! Adventure Great. begins! Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. Good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I'm kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good Thanks, time. bro. <laughs> yeah, brother and you sister. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Again, I know they're not, but still, the, the way they, the way they have it. You know how Josh and I met? It should be a great story. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. Good. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's next to Josh. Met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. Mm -hmm. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Butterfly effect. Uh, that was kind of corny writing to put that in there. Boom. Butterfly effect. Whole game supposedly based on that. Let's just go ahead and throw that into the... Let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and throw that into the dialogue. Alright, next person. Uh, confident, trusting, and... Irreverent? Uh, I guess? Uh, let's see, her name's Jess. This is Mike's new girlfriend. Mike, that was his name, Mike. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. New people. Time to meet. Uh, it's only been like 10 minutes. It's 9.17 now. Alright, is there anything I can do around here? Is there anything I can grab? Why are you like stopping? You can walk closer to it. Nothing. <gasps> what the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys <clears throat> having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Man, why do they always do that? There's, I bet there's gonna be tons of jump scares in this game. I mean, that wasn't so bad, but still, it's, it's from nowhere. Oh. My. God. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica sizzling. be capable of imagining? I wonder. Insist that insist to give it back or explain I'm with Mike now. You might as well just you might as well explain. You're with Mike. You slut. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, yeah. I'm in. Super clear. Oh. Sorry, man, but Mike doesn't seem like the best guy ever. Seems like he probably goes through lots of girlfriends. Right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? what? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this too? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just 
stop. All right, Sony, stop showing off. It's a little too much. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like uh, right where the M. cable car ends? There's Emily. I can already tell I'm not gonna like her at all. She's intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive, and kind of a bitch. Emily. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. There's Matt. Oh my god, that's your new boyfriend ever since she broke up with Mank. Motivated, motivated, ambitious, active, and probably being used. Gullible. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? God, man, I can't stand her. Is there anything around here? You can already tell. Like, I could tell at the beginning when she was like, "It's just a prank." I was like, mm, "You're gonna be, in, you're gonna be that, that chick." <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. All right. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up yeah, here again. Yeah, it's a pretty weird place. Definitely not. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Tons of jump scares. Intelligent, driven, persuasive, an asshole. Mike and Moise ex. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces dick. right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <sighs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, <sighs> we're turn all the volume down. You, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Oh. Don't be like that. They deserve like each what? other. The way you're being, you always get like this. Threaten, back off, Mike, or welcome, we're all friends. You know what? She's totally using you, bro. Just be cool with Mike. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck Look at ass for everyone. Face, man. It looks good. This is super awkward. See all the blemishes? We all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and yeah. move on, okay? Matt. Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. He gets it. What's good? good? Got it. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya! Mr. Confident. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest oh of the way? Oh my god. The bags? Yeah. Just all the bags. Yeah. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally yeah. forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important. Matt, please. That's cheating, bitch. Nah, man, you need to, you need to, you need to persist. You, you need to fight this. This is, you, you know better. You're not dumb. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out. I'll just Sorry. leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. Oh I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? I hate her so much. Um, you can tell okay. she always gets her way. Fine. Everything Everyone. she says is right. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go. Right, you're gonna go find yeah. Sam in the same direction that Mike just went. That's your ex boyfriend. And Mike's all by himself, so it's it's, it's horseshit. We all know better. There's no way. I might be overlooking this. I might be like they they might paint it to where you know, it's like they're just discussing something that's awkward and then they're fine. And like I might be making an ass of myself, but I I think she's a, I think she's one of those I I want everything and I'm selfish. Anyway. So here's Ashley. She has a crush on Chris. That's cool. Uh, she's academic, inquisitive, and forthright. She's already at the lodge. It is 9.32. Is there anything down here? That looks like the... Oh, I see Jessica over there, all by herself. What else we got around here? Whoa, hello. Whoa. Somebody's getting a little Who friendly. Who knew? I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. I might need to check the expiration date on their big I know. 
Who would have guessed? I didn't see it. Oh! <laughs> hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Just like we what? I didn't mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. Scare jump you. scares. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. I'm really it's sorry, fine. aren't you? What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. No. You know what? You should see. Go ahead. Go for it. You um, should see. He has the right. Uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. It could totally be innocent. <sighs> oh, yeah. Totally Son innocent. Bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you nothing. think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing probably with him? Not. Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. Can't believe it. Who would have thought? Who would have guessed? All right, back to Jessica. Uh, at the upper cable car station is 941. Read book or check phone? She probably doesn't even know how to read. Just check your phone. Why is her underwear showing? Oh, <gasps> Jesus. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel a girl, have young... to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Mm, we're gonna grab the snowball. There you go. Uh, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> ha! Oh, hey, you suck. Great. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding? Yeah, where are you hiding? Uh oh. Bam! Oh! Ah! Hi! Hey! Square. Oh, quick snap. time events. Hey, quick time events. So there's that bird. We saw this already in the totem. We saw this. Hello? We know. Come on. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Hey, Mike. Boom! Shot okay. down. Uh, Mike yeah. sucks. Uh, okay. Don't worry, Jessica's not playing. I'm playing. There's that bird again. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. Thank you, tutorial. I know all your tricks. Look, there's a bird I could hit. I'm not going to, because sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Thank you, tutorial. Am I gonna hit? Yeah, see, I was gonna say, so now, if I would've thrown that, I wouldn't have had a Whoa. snowball. Oh. I need to remember that, but it's gonna play a lot Come into on. the game. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> oh. Gotcha. Done. Done. Gotcha. City. Done. So, did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Alright, alright. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, though? Wow, I think you'd You're notice it if I did. Miss Jessica, the snowball queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. She would probably kiss him, knowing her. I mean, you just heard that joke. I mean, that was... I think they're going out anyway, right? So, that's cool. Go for it. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless oh, shit. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah, it's so yeah, nice out here, though. Lodge. Pretty breathtaking. Pretty I mean, breathtaking. I could stay out here pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. In well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. All right, what's happening now? What's going on here? Okay, we're back here with this guy. Hello again. Hello again. You. And how are we? Eh, mixed emotions, I guess. Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. Wonderful. 
This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Uh, right, we're gonna... Men worry me, women worry me. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. And be a woman. Like, if a man had a problem with you, he'd tell you, and then, like, try to kill you to your face. Like, if a woman was upset at you and tried to kill you, she'd, like, I don't know, poison you or something and tell you why you died. I'm gonna go with the woman. Turn page. I like the turn page option, that's pretty cool. Um, plane scare me, crowd scare me. I wanna go with. I've only been on a plane like a couple of times, but they weren't that bad. I'll go with crowds. Turn page with touchpad. Fear of drowning or fear of heights? Definitely drowning. I hate the water. Rats or snakes? Mm, snakes. Are we happy? Okay, then. Um, knives or guns? I'm not really scared of either. I have my own gun and I have my own knives. Uh, I guess if somebody had either one, I'd probably be more scared of the gun, I guess, because it'd be harder not to get killed by. Snakes or roaches? Oh, I can't stand roaches. I'm not scared of them, they're gross. Okay. Alright, still sitting there. Turn page. Clown scare me, scarecrow scare me. See, I was hoping this wasn't... This wasn't... This wouldn't happen. But both of those don't scare me at all. Like, I'm not scared of either one of those at all, but it's gonna force me to pick an option. Like, I can't skip this page. And I really was hoping this game wouldn't do something like that. I was really hoping it'd be more open to your interpretation, because... Now I have to pick one, and I know, I know, I know it's like, we'll pick one that you're more scared of, but I'm really, they're both really not that scary, so. Being scared of scarecrows is dumb, because they're not real people. I guess a clown, because a person can be in it, I guess. I don't know. Crows or gore. See, both of those, gore doesn't really disgust me, and crows aren't scary at all. Um, I guess crows? The core's really not that big of a deal at all. Oh. Did that startle you? Is no, I, I, I knew that was going to happen. You're doing it's, very well. Don't be nervous. It was kind of obvious because he kept looking up and he wasn't looking at him. I knew something like that was going to happen. Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. The game has tons of jump scares. I I'm used to it by now. I mean, they only did like five already in this session. Spiders. Spiders are creepy as hell. Uh, let's make them quick. I fear needles. Crows are scary. Needles are, are inanimate objects. They don't do anything. Um, zombies scare me, clowns scare me. Zombies probably won't ever happen, so I guess clowns. <sighs> Remember, a clown's a person in a suit, so the person could do something. Uh, crows are scary, or I fear dogs. I don't really fear dogs, but that wolf looks pretty... pretty mean. Let's go with the dog. Um, storms scare me, or... Dog scare me. Um, I guess the dog over score, scorm, storms. This is very interesting. Very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> Spiders, clowns, and dogs. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Yes. Uh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Okay.
who is this guy? Like, what does he have anything to do with the stories? They still haven't really explained him at all. I mean, this is a nice office. It's a great chair. All right. So I saw the previously on, so we're going to go ahead and quit there because that's the end of the chapter. So I'm really happy that I went ahead and filmed this. I'm going to go ahead and try to post this tonight. It might be kind of late, but I really wanted to get this done because the last one was a big tutorial. This one, I could tell, was more about introducing the characters. So we got to see a lot of the characters. They got to do some bantering. You got to see um, who liked who, who didn't like who. You got to see a little bit of traits. I wonder if that's going to come into play later on. Um, I can already tell you I don't like Emily at all. She's she's a real she's a real piece of work. Other than that, I think I like everybody else. I mean, everybody else is pretty okay to deal with. I mean, Mike is so so, but I think he's just one of those guys. But um. Anyway, uh, so that's it for this one. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I've been having a lot of fun playing this game so far. Um, I have a feeling on the next episode that things are really going to start getting getting going. Because this one, the first one was tutorial. This one was the introduction to character development. And then I guess the next one's going to actually start to push the story. I hope so, anyway. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching and taking time out of your day to watch. Uh, the videos. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am so far, and I'll see you on the next one. You don't have to go home, but you can't game here.